Gordon was resting in a siding. Sometimes, he thought, it's really tiring to be such a large and splendid engine. One does have to keep up appearances, so... No, indeed. High spirits might happen to any engine. But to come off the rails like Henry did, well, I ask you, is it right? Is it decent? Then it was Henry's turn to take the express. Gordon watched him getting ready. Be careful, Henry. You're not pulling the flying kipper now. Mind you, keep on the rails today. But not for long. Wake up, Gordon, said his driver. A special train's coming, and where to pull it? Is it coaches or trucks? Trucks, said his driver. Trucks, said Gordon. <laughs> Gordon's fire was slow to start, so Edward had to push Gordon to the turntable to get him facing the right way. I won't go, I won't go, grumbled Gordon. Don't be silly, don't be silly, fucked Edward. <laughs> At last Gordon was on the turntable. The movement had shaken his fire, it was now burning nicely and making steam. Gordon was cross and didn't care what he did. He waited till the table was halfway round. I'll show them, I'll show them, he pissed. He moved slowly forward to jam the table, but he couldn't stop himself and slithered into a ditch. Ooh, shit. Get me out! Get me out! Not a hope, said his driver and fireman. You're stuck, you silly great engine. Don't you understand that? On the other side of the ditch, some little boys began to sing. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch all on a Monday morning. Gordon lay in the ditch all day. Oh dear, he thought, I shall never get out. But that evening, they lifted Gordon and made a road of sleepers under his wheels to keep him from the mud. Strong ropes were fastened to his back end, and James, pulling hard, managed to bring him to safety. Sadder and wiser engine. 